here in the east, those who have lost a loved one gathered at Biden today, not for a ceremony, but rather to make bears, memory bears made from the clothing of their family member who has passed away. WNCT's Emily Gibbs has the story. She has brought a beautiful orange shirt that her husband wore, and this shirt he wore because it attracted hummingbirds. This is just one story one memory bear will tell once it's sewn together. This heart is a heart that she found on the beach. Um, as she was walking up the stairs, she actually met her husband with this heart in her hands. A story that Leah Davis never wants to forget. Even though I've got the memories, it's nice to have something tangible to see each day. Vidant has been running this program since 2009, a bear workshop where people bring clothing from someone who has passed away and then get to see memories stitched back to life. It's my husband's denim shirt. Yes, this was my grandpa's shirt. Those who volunteer to spend their Saturday with needles and pins are not only seamstresses for the day, but listeners for those who need an open ear. The attachment that they have, you hear uh, Lucas with some of his stories, so you know that this shirt is going to remind him of his granddad. It's a tangible way to reinforce some of those memories. Helping to reinforce times when their loved ones were still around. Leah's story is the reason that we keep doing this, is that, the, you know, participants come and they come with these beautiful keepsakes and they share their story. And to know that we're helping them know that they're not alone in their loss, their sadness, their grief, and helping them heal. In Greenville, Emily Gibbs, 9 on your side. And this is the first time the workshop has run in the winter due to past high attendance. It was expanded from just the spring and the fall.